the prevailing circumstances, their spiritual keys to unlock good success and ensure victory in every area of life. Discover some of these life-changing keys in these incredible books by Apostle Pusola Jegede, 100 Days of Fire and Power. In our ever-changing world, where distractions arise and schedules shift, there are lots of obstacles to a consistent prayer life. But for us as believers, prayer is non-negotiable. That is why 100 Days of Fire and Power by Apostle Busola Jegede is an excellent resource for everyone. It is a manual that will help you go before God as a covenant time consistently for 100 days and more, connecting you with divine grace, mercy, and God's limitless provision. Deliverance to go and break free. There are many spiritual battles raging in our world every day. In Deliverance to Go, get knowledge on how to pray through life's challenges and receive much needed clarity on the subject of deliverance. Break Free, the sequel to Deliverance to Go, is a hands-on spiritual warfare manual containing actionable principles to win the war against spiritual bondage. Get this book and find out how to live as more than conquerors in Christ. Move to the next level. What is your next level? How do you get there? Move to the Next Level by Apostle Busola Jegede is an instructional manual that will inspire and give you the prophetic push to your next level. This unique prayer plan is a must-have resource for spiritual and physical advancement. Lord, deliver and bless my marriage. The marital journey is first a spiritual one. So when crisis comes, we cannot afford to fight blindly. In Lord, Deliver and Bless My Marriage, you will learn to fight for your marriage in the place of prayer and get practical solutions to overcome the many issues that may arise. Now more than ever before, we must pursue knowledge and be equipped for life's journey. These books by Apostle Busola Jegede are essential faith-building resources to help you win every battle. Get your copies today on conga.com or call 0803-304-8311 to place your orders. Since creation, women all over the world have had to endure through difficult circumstances. And time and time again, we have proven that we can rise above them. But sometimes, we find that on our journey, defeat seems inevitable. Today, we face challenges in our careers, marriages, homes and businesses. Oftentimes, society turns its back and we are left all alone. At Daughters of Destiny, we want every woman to know that help is always available. We are here to offer godly and practical counsel for various issues peculiar to you as a woman. Contact us today via our counseling hotlines 0708-307-6210. You will overcome. You are a daughter of destiny. We are daughters of destiny.
We lift up your name this morning, Lord. We lift up your name. We join the angels in heaven. We shout hallelujah. Glory be to Jesus, the Lamb that sits upon the throne. Father, we say thank you. We bless your holy name. You are the Lamb that sits upon the throne, the Lion and the Lamb. Ah, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the King of glory, the Prince of peace, the Ancient of days, the I am that I am, the Lily of the valley, the 
bright and morning star, the one who is, who was, and who is to come, the covenant keeping father, the one that there is no shadow nor variableness with, the one that says yes and no man can say no, the one that opens the door and no man can shut. We glorify your name this morning. We lift up your name above every other name. You are worthy to be praised. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we worship. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to 100 Days of Fire and Power. Brought to you by the Ministry of Daughters of Destiny. Today is day 72. Glory be to Jesus. Happy weekend. And I know that the Lord is moving us higher. We are going higher. My name is Mary Lapi. You are all welcome. On behalf of the Settlement and Apostle Sola Jagger, I welcome you all. Today is day 72. I am an overcomer. I want you to say to yourself, decree into your life. I am an overcomer. My spouse and children are overcomers. In the name of Jesus. Please, I want to encourage you to like and share as you do so the good Lord bless you. The book, the prayer manual we are using is the book on the days of fire and power. You can order for your copy if you don't have true paper or true coda as you do so the good Lord bless you. Our text for today, I have an overcomer. It's taken from Revelation 12 verse 11. And they overtake him by the blood of the Lamb. And by the word of their testimony, and they did not love their lives to them. Lift up your voice now and begin to thank the Lord for the power in the blood of Jesus that gives us victory. There is a tremendous power in the blood of Jesus. Lift up your voice and begin to thank the Lord for that blood that speaks for us day and night. For the power in the blood of Jesus that gives us victory. The blood of Jesus gives us victory. There is a tremendous power in the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, God, for sending your son to come and die for us to share his own precious blood for the remission of our sins and to give us victory on all sides. Father, we thank you for the power in your blood that gives us victory. Makosa Katali Bragada. We thank you, we thank you, Lord. We give you all the praise. Blessed be your holy name in Jesus' mighty name. Galatians 5, verse 1 says, Start fast, therefore, in the liberty here which Christ has made us free. And be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. Lift up your voice and say, I did him. That by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of Jesus, I stand fast in the liberty which Christ has made me free. In the liberty that Christ has made me free, I stand fast. Reke Boko Sokoto begins to decree. By the blood of Jesus, you are free. You are free. You stand in that liberty. You have the authority to stand in the liberty which Christ has made you free. I decree by the blood of Jesus, the blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb. And we stand fast in the liberty which Christ has made us free. By the blood of Jesus. We stand in that liberty. We stand in that freedom. We exercise the authority by the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Colossians 2 verse 14 says, plotting out the unwriting of ordinances that was against us, which was contrary to us, and it took it out of the way, nailing it to the cross. Lift up your voice right now and say, I cancel by the blood of Jesus every yoke and problem in my life from my foundation. In the name of Jesus, I cancel by the blood of Jesus every yoke and problem in the life of my spouse and children from their foundation. In the name of Jesus, we overcame by the blood of the Lamb, by the words of our testimony. We decree that the blood of Jesus that was shed on the cross of Calvary, silence every voice speaking against our progress from our foundation by the blood of Jesus every yoke and problem in our lives from our foundation we capsule by the blood of Jesus nothing can withstand the power in the blood of Jesus nothing can withstand the power in the blood of Jesus because we overcame by the blood of the Lamb. In the name of Jesus. 
lift up your voice right now and say, every foundational captivity which has had my family and I down over the years by the blood of Jesus, be broken in the name of Jesus. Every foundational captivity which has held my family and I down over the years, my soul by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus, be broken in the name of Jesus. Foundational captivity, my soul generational captivity which has held us down, my soul over the years. Right now, I decree by the blood of Jesus, be broken, Mazuka Talagada, because who the Son has set free is free indeed. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Mazoko Regegegege, Akaro Zataligada, foundational captivity, break right now in the name of Jesus. Foundational captivity, break right now in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, please, I want to encourage you to like and share as you do so the good lord bless you in jesus name lift up your voice and say i put your name Mary Olabi, i am an overcomer by the blood of the lamb and by the words of my testimony i Mary Olabi, i am overcomer by the blood of the lamb and by the words of our testimony yes greater is he that is in me that he that is in the world i am more than conqueror i am an overcomer I am an overcomer. My spouse is an overcomer. My children are overcomers. In the name of Jesus, by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of the Lamb, by the blood of, our, of the Lamb, we decree our victory over every power of darkness. We decree our victory over every power of darkness. Daughters of destiny, we are overcomers. Marek Ezekete, in Jesus' mighty name, lift up your voice and say, I will testify of God's goodness in the land of the living. My spouse will testify of God's goodness in the land of the living. My children will testify of God's goodness in the land of the living. My soko toli gada, we have victory over death. We have victory over death. My soko toli gada, every premature death. We cast you in the name of Jesus. On time death, we cast you in the name of Jesus. We will testify of God's goodness in the land of the living. The Lord will satisfy us with long life. My so totally gather the Lord will satisfy my spouse and children with long life in the land of the living. We will testify of God's goodness. My roko sokoto on timely death is not our portion. My so tele gede 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 ye caros than the labo shadada rekede in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Romans 8 verse 35. Who shall what shall separate us? Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? Lift up your voice and say, Nothing shall separate my family and I from the love of Christ in the name of Jesus. Nothing, 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 no matter how difficult the situation is, we are overcomers in the name of Jesus. We are coming up victoriously, no matter how difficult. Because, because Christ is in us. We are more than conquerors. If God is for us, what can be against us? Nothing shall separate us from the love of Christ. Nothing shall separate us. We receive victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. No matter how difficult the situation is, we are coming out victoriously. We are coming out victoriously because we have victory through the blood of the Lamb. We have victory through the blood of the Lamb. Nothing shall separate us from the love of God. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice and say, Father, help us to always abide in you throughout this year and beyond. Hey, I, I will always abide in you because when I abide in you, there lies my fruitfulness. Father, the grace to always abide in you, the grace to always abide in you, the grace not to wander away from the path of righteousness, the grace to do that which please you at all times. Father, release upon us this year, 2021 and beyond. In the name of Jesus, the grace to grow in you, the grace to walk in the truth, the grace to walk in the line, oh Lord, that you have ordered us to do, oh Lord, the grace to obey you at all times, the grace to do your will at all times, the grace to abide in you, in the name of Jesus, we receive in Jesus' mighty name, lift up your voice and say, oh Lord, I cover my family. 
my ministry, my business, my career, my spouse and children with the blood of Jesus. Yes, I cover everything that has to do with me with the blood of Jesus. Divine covering by the blood of Jesus. When the enemy comes like a flood, the spirit of the Lord in the in the blood of Jesus will lift up a standard against him. I cover everything that pertains to me with the blood of Jesus. Divine covering by the blood. I cover my family, my husband, my children, my ministry, my business, my career with the blood of Jesus. Raka, zaka, taliga, all our property is covered by the blood of Jesus. Maraka, zaka, ta, daughters of destiny is covered by the blood of Jesus. Mareke, zekete, the blood of Jesus shall stand as a divine covering for us, even in this season. Maseketelege, in Jesus' mighty name, lift up your voice. According to John 8, verse 36, if the Son therefore shall make you free, you shall be free indeed. Lift up your voice and say, I am free from every yoke of oppression by the blood of the Lamb. My spouse and children are free from every yoke of oppression. Everything that has granted our progress, everything that has been oppressing us in life, Mazakata, every yoke that was placed on us by the enemy, Maroko Zoko, the oppressing us that does not want us to progress by the blood of Jesus. We are set free. The Bible says who the Son has set free is free indeed. So that of destiny, you are free from every yoke of oppression by the enemy. As many that are oppressed right now, I decree your freedom. Everyone that is oppressed by the power of darkness, you are free. That yoke of oppression is being lifted. That yoke of oppression in your marriage, in your business, Business is being lifted right now by the blood of Jesus in Jesus' mighty name. I decree your freedom in Jesus' mighty name. Lift up your voice right now and say, I prophesy that I will testify this year to the glory of God in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that my spouse and children will testify this year 2021 to the glory of God. I call for shouting testimony, outstanding testimony. We overcame by the blood of the, of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. Testimony will not be lacking in our life. The Lord will fill our life with testimony in this year 2021. Hey, when people see us, it is testimony they are sending. Testimony today, testimony tomorrow, testimony forever. Throughout this year 2021 and beyond, we come for shouting testimony. Our testimonies will no longer be delayed because we are breaking through and breaking forth. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Congratulations. It is testimony galore this year. No matter what the enemy does, we will testify. In Jesus' mighty name, right now we are going to pray for Nigeria and whichever nation you belong to and the land of Israel. Lift up your voice and say, I pray that the blood of Jesus will proclaim liberty over Nigeria and the land of Israel. We decree freedom from Nigeria, freedom from every oppression. Oh, Lord, put that end to the wickedness of the wicked in Nigeria. We decree liberty over Nigeria. We proclaim liberty. Oh, Lord, reign over Nigeria. Maroka Sakata. Freedom from every oppression. Freedom from killing. Freedom from the ex men. We are free. Nigeria is free. The land of Israel is free. In the name of Jesus, lift up your voice right now and begin to thank the Lord. He's a faithful God, the one that dwells greater and all something. Yes, we are overcomers. The Lord has set us free by the blood of the Lamb. Yokes have been destroyed. Oppressions have been taken away. We overcome. We overcome by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. The blood of Jesus is available for us. The blood of Jesus is speaking victory for us. The blood of Jesus is speaking protection for us. The blood of Jesus is speaking deliverance for us. Hallelujah. By the blood of the Lamb. Father Lord, we say thank you. Thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Answers prayer shall all flesh come. As we spoke into your hearing, so shall you do unto us. Hallelujah. Father, we say thank you. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Trying to get those on Instagram. Oh, God. Glory be to Jesus. Here we are, day 72. 
100 days of fire and power. I congratulate each and every one of you. The Lord bless you all abundantly in Jesus' name. Yes, I decree and declare to your life, you are an overcomer in the mighty name of Jesus. You are an overcomer. Let me just quickly uh, fix those on Instagram. I'm not showing my face today. <laughs> I'm not showing my face today because I'm not ready. Oh, glory be to Jesus. So bear with me. I just want to pray for you and I that every, every affliction from the pit of hell in your life or in my life is coming to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. This morning, we are having our healing and healing and breakthrough service. And hey, it is a deliverance service. Wherever you are, I want you to hurry down to Aja. It is a deliverance service we are having this morning. And if you are outside Nigeria, I want you, don't go to sleep. Set your alarm. It's going to be powerful. It's going to be awesome. That scripture, Revelation 12, 11, we overcome by the blood of the lamb. We overcome by the blood of the lamb and the words of our testimony. Today, we are having deliverance by the blood. All the members of deliverance team, please get ready. Today is going to be an awesome program. The power of God is already available to heal. The power of God is available to deliver. And I use this opportunity to pray over somebody right there. Every affliction in your life, every affliction in your family, I decree that they come to an end in the name of Jesus. That affliction that is emptying your pocket, that affliction that is draining your finances, masata, I decree and declare that it comes to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree and declare into the life of somebody that seasonal affliction, it comes every season. Let it be terminated this season. This is the season of termination of that seasonal affliction. It may be in your life. It may be in the life of your child. There are some afflictions that come with weather. There are some afflictions that come with location. No matter the source of the affliction, today I decree that they come to an end. They come to an end in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, Mareke, the anointing of God is present to heal mightily this morning. This morning, it is deliverance by the blood. It is healing and deliverance service. Every member of the deliverance team, please make your way early because we are going to pray. We are going to pray before the service and be properly dressed because you would be at work today and it will be a lot of work. That's the instruction of the Holy Spirit today. Today, I decree into the life of somebody that affliction that comes and robs you of opportunity. When that sickness comes, you find out that you lose opportunities. I decree and declare that that affliction be terminated in Jesus' name. You know, yesterday night, I went to minister with my mentor and my father, Apostle Wale Oladiyu. He came to minister in a church around, around Lekki here. So I joined him to do the ministration and see young boys, young boys falling under the anointing, jerking. It was, it was too much. There were too many people who were just casting out. What? What did he call? Spirit of addiction. Many are addicted. Baba Ijebu, betting. Those things are addictions. Young boys. Olosho, prostitutes, small, small boys. There is a lot of bondage in their lives. The power of God was so strong. Hey, I felt, oh my, oh my God, my father, we prayed together yesterday. It was as if I was battered in fire. And I'm so glad because this morning, <laughs> that same grace is still speaking. 
Young, young boys, the Bible says Jesus has come to, that we may have life and have it more abundantly. The devil is out there to steal, to kill, and to destroy. Releasing different yokes into the life of people. Look at young, young boys, addicted. It was cocaine, I mean, it was codeine. We were talking about addiction to codeine and all those things. Now, it is addiction to betting, all sorts of betting. Let's come and see them being set free under the power of the Holy Ghost. Hey, ma say, hey, somebody I decree over your life. Every affliction. You see, addiction is an affliction. Addiction is an affliction. Because the person wants to come out, he doesn't know how to come out. They begin to bet. The person betting, the trouser is torn. Look, I was just looking at them. Look at the person betting. The trouser is torn. He's wearing tattered clothes. Yet all his money, the devil is in control. I decree every affliction over your life. Let them begin to break now. In the name of Jesus. Some of you need to stand in the gap for your children. Every addiction in the lives of our children. Today we command you to break, to break, to break. In the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus. Malika bakata legede. I decree over these airwaves now, every affliction, every addiction, every infirmity, Rebikata, the Bible says he sent his word and he healed them. <laughs> he delivered them. In the name of Jesus, somebody you are delivered. Somebody you are set free. You are healed. In the name of Jesus, some healing cannot take place without deliverance. Some healing cannot take place without deliverance. And so I pray for somebody, your husband that is in addiction, let him be set free in the name of Jesus. Addiction can bring marital problems. Yesterday, one of the girls that we are helping in the ministry, she, she was already picking up. I even said I will share her story. I just saw her yesterday. See her neck bone, her neck bone coming out. I gave her a job. We took care of her child, took her child to the hospital. She was looking terrible again. What happened? She said her husband is always smoking in their hand and beating her and collecting the money we give her in Daughters of Destiny. Look at what addiction has turned to problem. Anyone under the sound of my voice that any member of your family is addicted and is now bringing affliction in your life, is now bringing problem in your family, by the power of Calvary, by the risen Christ, let that yoke break now in the name of Jesus, because Jesus is the yoke breaker. Jesus is the yoke breaker. Jesus is the yoke breaker. I decree every yoke in your life and my life break right now in Jesus' mighty name. This is where I'm going to stop for now. Join me at 8 a.m. as we continue in Healing by deliverance, not only for affliction, deliverance from addictions, deliverance from bondages. Make sure you are interceding for your children. Join the service, lay your hand on their picture. Those of them who are addicted to pornography, addicted to masturbation, there is deliverance for them in Jesus' name. It may even be you that you are watching. There is deliverance for you in Jesus' name. This morning, the anointing is there to heal, to deliver. It's going to be fire for fire. La rege boko shandaligada. Father, Lord, I pray for everyone under the sound of my voice. Release your grace, release your mercy upon every life in Jesus' name. And so wherever you are in Lagos, if you know you have an issue in your life, it is not too late. Jump into the bathroom. Do a quick bath. This is not the time for a beauty bath. Do a quick wash, jump into your car, get an Uber, go to the bus stop. There is still time. You can still make it to Aja, anywhere you are in Lagos. You can bring that your child. You can bring that person with you. You've been having bad dreams. You've been having any form of affliction. Whatever it is that you've been experiencing, the anointing breaks the yoke. The blood of Jesus is powerful to heal. And if you're not in Lagos, make sure you do not miss joining us online. On Instagram, we are DOD. On Instagram, 
we are DOD is going to be where it will be broadcasted on Facebook. Join us. You have repeated affliction. This one, English language will not solve it. Therapy will not work when there is a demon attached. Pra <laughs> principles will not work when there is a principality attached. So you have to break the yoke. Then you do what you need to do. I pray for understanding for somebody. Join this morning's deliverance service. It's going to be powerful. Marakata. Wherever you are, start driving down. Start driving down. Start coming down. Even if you get there for 839, you will still meet the grace of God to break yokes. As long as you step your feet there, the anointing is there to heal. The anointing is there to deliver. Child of God, Affliction is not your portion. No matter the yoke in your marriage, no matter the yoke you are carrying, today they are broken in Jesus' name. See you at Destiny International Center, 8 a.m. We are after Abraham Adesanya, Lekki Ekwe Expressway. The Lord bless you, bless you, bless you abundantly in the, the mighty name of Jesus. Join us online if you can't make it down there, if you're out of range. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. And so I want you to take your Holy Communion quickly. Remember, we are still fasting. You have to come to this service fasting. Don't eat, don't drink tea, don't take conflicts. Come fasting because this kind does not go except by prayer and fasting. Come fasting this morning, come fasting. When you finish, you will eat. Let's take a Holy Communion. God bless you. By the blood of Jesus, yokes are broken. Let's take a confession. I thank God for bringing me to 2021, my year of triple grace. I declare that by the grace of God on my life and family this year, 2021, I will arise and shine. Whatever I start, I will finish. I will build and inhabit. I will plant and eat thereof. When I run, I will not be weary. I will work and make profit. Uh, whatever I conceive, I will burst. Whenever I seek, I will find. Every vision God gives me, I will execute. I will abase and abound. I will observe and do according to the leading of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name. So help me God. God bless you all. See you at 8 a.m. either online or physically. Don't miss this morning's deliverance service. It's going to be powerful. Every member of the deliverance team HOD, quickly send a message to all your members to come quickly. We are praying at 7.30. God bless you all. My name is Busola Jegede from Daughters of Destiny. You have a wonderful day.
Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen.